Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has been on the scene for years as a stand-up comic that kept us laughing on TV, in the movies, and on the big stage. Then came his blockbuster hit, Smile, that spread like wildfire and landed him number one on the music charts, and things haven't been the same since. And here, living his best life, welcome Lil Duval. Yeah! <laughs> uh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Let's go all the way back, man. Right. Smile. Uh, did you think it would take off like it did? Because initially it started off as one of your, your jokes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody got on your nerves and then you were like, tell me about it. Just go ahead. I mean, I didn't think it was going to get as big as it was. I, I knew it was going to impact people, mm -hmm. just like my other song, Killing With The Shoulders, mm -hmm, did. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to impact people, but the success of it, I think it came because I made a clean version. Ah. <laughs> And the only reason I did that because my daughter. Really. Yeah. I was like, all right, she want to sing it. So yeah, yeah. Let me give her something to sing. <laughs> yeah. Th th yeah. This, this song is like the culture un yeah. I'm unbothered song. It's a mm. Negro as, spiritual. As, as she pays it's her a Negro nails. spiritual. Yeah, yeah, it makes you feel yes. good. Yes. You know? It's a gospel song. You know? <laughs> no, seriously. Unbeknownst to me, you know, yes. I think there was something God put in me to, to give to the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but for you, what is the meaning behind it? Um, I think it came from a, a, a good meaning. It came from my friend that just passed like mm. a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He had cancer, so mm. through him I learned, I, well, I already knew, but I learned like we really got to live life while we're here. So yeah. mm -hmm. I tried to do that with him. I tried to give him his best life that he could, and, and that's where the song came yeah, from, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, you're referring to Kool-Aid. Yeah, Kool-Aid. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. We'll get into that in just a second. Um, you know, so many celebrities have posted about your song, including Oprah. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, now, when you yeah. when you saw that, was what like, was your I got reaction? A shot. <laughs> <laughs> right, shit. I was like, I'm finna give it all up. Right. I was all in her DMs. <laughs> you know, you can't speak to a man because you speak to a man, you think we, they want us. Right, yeah. right. So right. I thought she wanted me. And then she left, she left a comment. I was like, uh oh, I got a shot. So <laughs> I was in her DMs for a while, then I gave up. You gave up. Okay, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. At least you recognize yeah, it. Yeah, your song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's a, a big deal. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. <laughs> I heard she cool as hell. Right. Yeah, I heard she real cool. She yeah. ain't like how I thought. She like cool, cool. Yeah, she's <laughs> real cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like cool, she talked cool. like me on the low. You know? <laughs> I'm not saying I talk bad. Right, yeah. right, not, not at all, yeah. not at all. But you, you've been putting out funny songs for a really long time. Yeah. So why do you think this song resonates more with the people? I think I just cleaned it up. All my songs was good. I just it felt like that one was <laughs> yeah. just. Yeah. Because I mean, I felt like before it was stuff you would like, but you can't sing it publicly because kids and, mm -hmm. and the way TV set up. But this one, I kind of just cleaned it up. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. That's really it. And, and it, I feel like it came from a spiritual place, mm -hmm. that song, you know? The mm -hmm. other ones was good, but this one was something I can't even duplicate if I tried. Right. You know, uh, obviously, I've known you for, for quite some time and following your career, been a, been in the crowd when you performed. Yeah. And the thing about you, you, you've always used your platform to educate people in a way that they don't feel like they're being educated by yeah. the way you travel, by the things that you do. And I remember one post, you said, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to educate y'all on what I do, trying to be outside of the norm yeah. of what people who have success do, including planes and yeah. scuba diving and all those types of things. Why do you think that's important to use your platform in such a way? outside of what people think of Louis Duval? Um, I learned a long time ago, people don't listen, they follow. Mm -hmm. So, so I, if I want to be the, if I want things to change, I have to be the change. So I just try to be things that I want to see in the world. Yeah. So that's really all I really do. I don't put too much thought in it because I feel like I'm a genuine good person. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it will naturally come out because I'm not the best at articulating stuff mm -hmm. and I always wanted to help people in a certain type of way. I just was harsh with it, because I'm from Florida. You, you've been in Florida. You yes, went to school down yes, there. So yes. the way I come off, it comes off harsh, especially the women. But it's really coming from a genuine place, like a fatherly place. Yeah, yeah. So I just try to just be the change. Yeah. And, I, and I seen that it worked. It, it always worked as a younger person. It just now I, I know how to mold it in and use it in a positive way. Wow, that's fantastic. And you flying plane, you flying plane. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning how to fly, man. I feel like we need to get in every <laughs> aviation. Ow, yeah, you see my La Bamba plane. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah, man, that's me taking off, you know. 
I just, I just want, I've always wanted to get into it, you know what I'm saying? And I realize it's cheaper to do it like that, too, yeah, yeah, with plane. So I got my tour coming up, so I feel like I should get a plane to fly around so I won't have to pay Delta. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> we'll get more into the tour and everything else you have going on because he is continuing to live his best life. Uh, we'll come back with more Lil Duval in just a second. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he is back. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your tour, man. Yeah, I gotta live my best life tour. You know, we going all over the world just to, just to give this energy, this vibe. You know, I don't sell music, I don't sell comedy, I sell vibes. So yes. that's what I'm saying on this tour. You know, I got my man's, I got uh, my man Chico, Chico Bean on there. Mm. I got Andrew Schultz on there. Carl's gonna do some dates. And Free J Ski, yes. he getting out, he coming right on the tour. Oh, okay. that's gonna be that's fun. Good. Yeah, that's man. Good. So that's, that's what we gonna be doing. What? So make sure y'all get your tickets if yes. you're over here. Let's in okay. Buffalo, in Baltimore, and Columbus, and Columbus. Columbus. <laughs> this month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we got Baltimore. other days, dude. We popping everywhere. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but speaking of popping everywhere. Yeah. You uh, went down to the mm, scuba dive. Yeah, 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 Down yeah. to the ocean. Down yeah. to the ocean. Under the sea. I mean, swimming with the sharks, what is that about? Man, that's living my best life. You know, that's that's kind of just, I, I do, I, when I start scuba dive, I realize a lot of stuff mm -hmm. we fear. Uh -huh. A lot of stuff we fear is just stuff that's in our mind that we never tried. So I felt like uh, I felt like scuba diving and 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 swimming with sharks is yes. one of the things to prove that we can do things. If you see somebody like you doing it, you'll do it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm Duval Ooh. Cousteau. Yes, Duval, Duval Cousteau. Cousteau. I love mm -hmm. it. All right. And you're big on family, Bahamian roots. You're a father. I mean, you you, you are really embracing yeah. everything who Lou Duval is. That's what I've always been. It just is put in the forefront now. Yeah. You know, now mm -hmm. people's paying more attention to right. it. And my Bahamian roots are just. My grandfather, he was one of the first millionaires in Bahamas. Ah. You know, but my mom and them still end up poor some kind of way. <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to break that. You're trying to break that cycle, yeah. yeah. That yes. cycle. So I went back to Bahamas, back to my roots, and try to inspire them too. You yes. know, because there's too many people from Bahamas to, to do what I'm doing. Yeah. So I inspire them and and and, and bring bring the Bahamian culture to America. I love Ooh. it, man. Lil Duval, we're so happy for you. Yes. Yeah. It's an yeah. open door policy. Make sure you come back. <laughs> Look you see that great hair? Boy, that thing look good. I mean, I've been thinking. <laughs> You've been thinking. Mm -hmm. Y'all give it up for Lil Duval. No Beijing, the conversation man. continues. No Beijing. This is a circle TV on all social media platforms. It's no Beijing. No, no Beijing. Beijing. <laughs>